Over the past year at Intact, we have worked together to raise the bar on generosity, to address some of society's biggest challenges, and help our communities across North America be more resilient. But what exactly does resilience look like? Resilience is having enough to eat. It's combating a virus. It's being protected from climate change. And it's overcoming barriers to opportunity. During the pandemic, we had to quickly shift our operations in order to feed children who were no longer in school. We created an emergency fund thanks to generous partners and donors. We were able to feed over 656,000 children across the country. $200,000 of that was donated to Feeding America, the nation's largest hunger relief organization. The additional $300,000 was allocated to support local nonprofits supporting communities where U.S. employees live and work. Your gift allowed us to get this important clinical trial off the ground and allowed us to secure public funding required to roll it out across the country and internationally. In 2017, Inesitin and the Saskatoon Nation experienced one of the most devastating wildfires in North America. At the time, it threatened our community. And in the aftermath, we asked ourselves, what do we need to do to prevent this from happening again? Our initiative was to develop an Indigenous fire management program with the idea that we would train and build up a team of guardians that could apply low intensity fires uh, to the landscape. Our intent there was to prevent future fires but also, more importantly, uh, support our, our plants and forests in restoring itself to what it was before. I'd like to say Pathways has helped me tremendously throughout my life. Whether it was in high school, transitioning to university, completing my degree on time, as well as currently as an alumni and marketing intern, at the National Pathways Office. Pathways really creates that sense of community and whenever you need help, they're always there for you. It teaches you about perseverance and no matter what barriers you have in front of you, you can always achieve your goals. With C-19 and the murder of George Floyd happening right here in our state, it has left our largely African-American and low-income families uh, pretty pretty desperate. And we've been able to give out $300,000 in, in, in emergency cash assistance, around $300,000 in rental relief. We've delivered 43,000 meals um, with our partners. We've given out 726 Chromebooks and iPads. We've given 1,000 families access to broadband. And we couldn't do it without you. Before the early day, I had the chance to participate in a day of volunteering with the organization Les Petits Frères, during which we called seniors in order to wish them a happy holiday, to ask them how they were doing, and of course, remind them that we're thinking of them. It was a great experience and I'm truly grateful to work for a company that encouraged this type of initiative. Yes, these are unprecedented and challenging times. But when we come together, we can achieve great things.